Hi, I'm Suzanne Klimberg. I'm Chief of Surgical Oncology at UTMB. And I'm Roy Weiser. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Surgical Oncology at MD Anderson. And I'm happy to tell you a bit about our upcoming article in JAX. It has to do with the localization technique that Dr. Klimberg's team developed for non-palpable breast and axillary lesions. And I had the pleasure of getting acquainted with it during my fellowship. We call this technique FIND, and that stands for fluoroscopic interoperative node and neoplasia detection. And it basically uses fluoroscopy to identify the clip placed at the time of the original biopsy. So the diagnostic biopsy then becomes a localizing procedure. So we avoid the need for a second procedure, which most all other devices need. And by avoiding a second procedure, we avoid the pain of vasovagal vasovagal events associated with that. And of course, we get our first starts in. So how does it actually work? So it obviously starts with the biopsy and actually putting a clip that you can see in floral, like you can see in the right and the left clips. And then the moment you decide you need to take the patient to the OR, you simply do that with no need for any further procedure. And then you bring the floral in, you see where the clip is, you use whatever instrument you like to mark it on the skin. You plan your incision and your dissection, and you just start working. And one of the great things about this technique is that you have continuous visual feedback, and you can actually see where you're dissecting with the bovi compared to where that clip is. So what we eventually did in this paper was to retrospectively compare wire localizations to find. And our main finding was that the oncological outcomes are even better with find, meaning that we, we found lower rates of margin positivity and lower rates of re-excision. Now, a second interesting finding that we had was that the missing rate for a clipped axillary node using wire localization was 20% and it was 0% with FIND. We hope you have a chance to read our paper, and we are happy to offer any further information or guidance to whoever would be interested. Please feel free to contact us, and thank you to Jax for giving us this opportunity to highlight this technique. And thank, thank you, Roy. And thank you very much, Dr. Klimberg.